Yum Dog, good afternoon everybody. Hope you had a nice lunch. Well, this afternoon we're going to be thinking about doing things to make our fingers and our hands really, really strong. We call some of these activities finger gym activities and we do some of them in school together. So I thought I could give your grown-ups some ideas of a few things you might be able to set up at home together this afternoon to make those fingers really, really strong, ready for writing. So when we were reading our Cinderella story and we were collecting our shoes, I noticed that lots of our shoes had got laces in and threading those laces helps to make our fingers nice and strong. So I've got some activities here that we can do today that involve threading using our fingers. So if you're in my class, I gave you a pack with a paper plate in, but it had holes punched around the side. And I also gave you one of these. It's a shoelace. Now shoelaces are really good for threading because they have a hard bit at the end that makes it easy to push through any hole that we might make. So if you've got your paper plate with the holes, you can have a go at threading your shoelace through there. But I wanted to make it a bit more exciting today. So I have made myself a Cinderella slipper. Now, if you don't have a hole punch, you could do like I have and ask your grown up just to make holes for you using something they might find in the kitchen. So I used a skewer to do mine and I'm ready to sew my Cinderella's Slipper. So I need to poke my piece of shoelace through there and I pull right until the end and then I thread it back through the next one and I'll end up with a pattern that looks a bit like this. Can you see? And I can keep doing that all the way around my Cinderella's shoe so I'll do that afterwards. So that's one activity you could do. Another really good activity for making our fingers strong is pegging things. So you could have a little box like I have, and if you've got some pegs, you could have a go at pegging all around the edge of your box, like this. So pegging's a really good one we could do. If you've got any stretchy elastic bands, you could have a go at stretching them over something. So see if you can find any. I've got a little box here, and I've been stretching oh, my elastic bands over there, making my hands strong. And then you could even have a little musical instrument there. So you can have a go at doing something with elastic bands. In here, I've put some oats. So using my finger to make shapes or to do letters in my oats is a good idea. And I can also use a spoon to move them from one container to another. That develops my hand muscles and makes them strong. And then last of all here, I've got some of my glass beads have a go at seeing if you can use two spoons together to pick something up and move it into another container. There we go. So this afternoon we're going to have a go at doing some threading and have a go at setting some activities up to develop those muscles in your hands. And if you think of some really good ideas that you've been doing at home, please let me know. Okay, have fun this afternoon. Hoyle Valor. See you tomorrow morning.